If you are new to our channel, welcome aboard to our 1971 Bucky 37. My name is Ivan, this is my wife Victoria, and these are our kids. Hi everyone, uh, let's continue. Last time I have installed uh, this uh, piece of wood on a uh, resin mixed with cabasil. So today I'm planning to uh, attach uh, some tubbings from uh, CSM. So one piece will go right from here. And um, yeah, the, then continue from to this side. Also, uh, you might notice that uh, the, I got like uh, ripped off uh, uh, edges, not just cut with the scissors. That uh, made on purpose to have a better adhe adhe adhere to the uh, structure actually. And then uh, I can actually glue these uh, several pieces of the CSM to each other without any problem to the structural uh, joint. CSM wetted out with the resin, waiting until it's uh, cured. Yeah, it's uh, cured right now and um, I sent it down all high spots and now it's uh, time for gel coat. Gel coat is painted, uh, waiting for curing. I temporarily uh, uh, zip tied those cables, but I haven't decided how exactly I will run it through. I really like to go behind that uh, valve, uh, but uh, well, <laughs> we'll see it. Uh, we'll figure it out later on. It is in the process of installing uh, exhaust hose with the silencer. Well, <laughs> it's tough to put it on. Well, uh, hard job is uh, finished, so silencer is inside. Exhaust pipes are out. The only thing is that I guess that <laughs> outboard uh, water pump is not really in place, so I have to move it around. Otherwise, I will pass the hose through. It's time to motor to install. Well, I uh, vacuum the soil dust from uh, top and brush this all down. So, yeah, it looks like okay. Just need to change the air filter, it's quite dirty. And let's do it. The motor is uh, in its place, so I just need to attach uh, all the mounting bolts and uh, move it around to align uh, to its uh, new place. So, uh, let's do this part also. The motor is installed and the shaft is attached and I did align all uh, um, <laughs> fine tuning. So, just only you want to deal with the exhaust pipe. Well, everything is connected, uh, control lines are attached, uh, fuel supply and uh, water cooling is attached, exhaust uh, hose is attached, and plus wire is attached. But, unfortunately, uh, minus wire, the ground wire, it was quite short because I moved that uh, terminal block, so I have to build another one, but it will be uh, next time, next day. Unfortunately, no runs for today. Anyway, uh, fuel line uh, primed, so the fuel is goes up to the uh, fuel filter. And um, yeah, it looks uh, everything is ready to launch. Well, something like that. Well, uh, as I connected that uh, uh, cooling hose, I can actually use a outboard uh, pump uh, to have a outboard water. Uh, on the vessel. Another day and I have connected the uh, minus uh, wire to the terminal right there and uh, water is open and fuel is opened uh, so uh, <laughs> let's run it uh, what to say. The launch process is straightforward so first of all turn on exhaust fan it's quite low but that's another story then uh, turn uh, the key to uh, heat it will uh, heat up those uh, sparks for five seconds and just rotate to the start yeah it's working it's alive <laughs> let's see what color of the <laughs> exhaust do we have it must be water draining out yeah there are splashes everything is just great not really much uh, smoke 
everything looks fine so far let's uh, see how does it shaking right now or not it's okay yeah there is a vibration but only top section is moving right now which is supposed to be like that so we'll uh, heat up this uh, mortar and uh, we'll uh, move it back and forth the boat. We'll see how does it go. So let's move ahead. Uh, let's go forward first. Ooh. Yes, now backward. We are moving. It is pushing very well. Yeah, I can uh, feel somewhat uh, called the uh, prop wash. What is this? So I put the gear to reverse and the uh, stern is going to the port side right away. That's kind of like, yeah, you see, I, I release my uh, lines going forward a little bit. And now I just engage to the backward. You see the stern is going to the port side right away. But everything is fine. The only one project need to be finished is the head and we can go to the dry dock. I decided to tackle those uh, steps. So here what I've got and uh, there is a little wiggling when you step on and it's, it's moving all around. So I decided to make two uh, side shifts and uh, fill with the uh, resin with cover seal and probably one layer of uh, CSM on top of that to make a kind of linkage in between the edges. I filled the voids uh, with the resin mixed with cover seal, added a little bit uh, um, CSM inside to make it more sturdy. So well for curing. The bilge uh, cover uh, uh, is getting to some kind of shape, so I'm gonna build that uh, little lip on the forward side, and I will glue this thing with the, some glue, and um, there will be something like I have in the middle of the uh, between those uh, motor legs. So uh, I built already with the. Um, couple of layers of uh, fiberglass so I'm gonna do the same thing right there so there is a uh, cover which I built previously here is the lip uh, it's uh, glued and uh, waiting to cure well uh, the resin is cured so I will uh, send this down and remove those side plates and I will be I believe that they will be final thing for the steps so far the lip is uh, cured right now, so it looks okay. And um, this is just a template. I'm gonna put this into place right there, and uh, it's supposed to slide in uh, like a glove, but it's not. Well, <laughs> probably incorrect installation uh, method. Well, anyway, uh, this will be just a base for the uh, fiberglass. Uh, structure which I'm going to build and uh, one side will be the lip uh, from forward side which uh, I built and uh, now it's, it will be actually the lips all around but that gap in, in, in forward uh, backward actually side I will uh, cover with something I haven't decided yet but uh, will be a kind of whole finished uh, structure with the lips all around I made some dust uh, with the orbital sander well, at least those uh, legs on the steps are kind of uh, in shape right now. So, yeah. I did a wet sanding of the surface. The last uh, grid was uh, 1200. So, yeah, it's uh, nice and shiny. You just need to dry fit it. Well, <laughs> it's uh, nice and sturdy. <laughs> what to say? Well, this question is uh, over. If you like this video, please hit thumbs up, subscribe, 
and leave a comment down below. Thank you. Bye.